Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this another video for Trick for CA Foundation, we will be discussing about how we can quickly solve the problems of effective rate of interest and more basically only by using calculator without writing a single word. Okay. So to show this, I am taking one of the previous year question which was asking you to find out the effective annual rate of interest corresponding to normal rate of 6% per annum payable half a yearly. That means you will be getting 6% per annum but this will be compounded half a yearly means in a year it would be compounded twice after every 6 months. So the first thing is students should remember the formula for the effective rate the formula is very simple. The formula is E equal to, that is effective rate equal to 1 plus I by K to the power K minus 1 into 100. Where I is nothing but this rate of interest and K is nothing but number of times the amount is compounded yearly. So if we say half a yearly, that means inside a year, twice. So the value of k is nothing but 2. So if we substitute this value in the formula, what we get is nothing but this. So i is nothing but 6%, that is nothing but 0 0.06. Since year, half a yearly this k is twice, so we get this. What we expect or how we can save the time is nothing but student immediately should use calculator by looking at the problem and get the answer. Not even a single word of writing. So how we can achieve it is nothing but let us just try to see it over here. For the first time we write inside the formula. So what I am supposed to do is 0 0.06 divided by 2. So I do it at first. So it is 0 0.06 divided by 2. Why divide by 2? Because half a yearly inside a year twice. Then I will do plus 1. So I will do plus 1 into it. Then I have to do power 2. How I can get the power 2? So I will write multiply equal to. So you can see it is 1.03 into 1.03. It becomes power 2. If I want power 3, I will do multiply equal to 2 times. If I want power 4, I will write multiply equal to 3 times. So whatever power you want. You do multiply and equal to 1 less. If I want power 10, I will write multiply equal to 9 times. Right. So I am done till this square. I am done till the square part. Then what I am supposed to do? Minus 1. So it is minus 1. And then multiply with 100. And at the end, since we want the answer, we will write equal to. So the answer is the thing, but 6.09. So this 6% per annum compounded half a yearly is equivalent to 6.09 yearly. So in the effect we try to see this 6% has what effect for the entire year if it is compounded half a yearly. Right. So this is nothing but something that we are supposed to do during the examination. Let's just try to revise it with an another example over here. So, what we are supposed to do is, we have to try for 20% per annum payable quarterly. Quarterly, yani ki yearly 4 times. Right? So, over here, what we are supposed to think? We are supposed to think, what is the value of i, what is the value of k, nothing else. The formula should be there inside your mind. So, first we should write the value of i. The step 1 is to write the value of i. 20% means 0.2. Quarterly means inside a year 4 times. Right? So it's going to be divided by 4 since 4 times a year. Then plus 1. Then what? Power k. I want to do power 4. So I'll write multiply equal to how many times? 3 times. 1, 2, 3. Whatever is the answer, I am to do minus 1. After minus 1, last step is nothing but multiplied with 
hundred and equal to to get the answer. So twenty percent compounded quarterly is equivalent to twenty point five five percent for the entire year. So this is going to be the effective rate of interest. So let us just revise the steps one more time. The step was write I divided by K plus one. Power k. How to get the power k? So multiply one time, then equal to how many times? Whatever you want the power, one less than it. Then minus one and multiply by hundred. I'll suggest you to take some random number, some compounded randomly number time, and try to practice. With the practice, this trick will help you to get this problem solved within even thirty seconds, right? So you can save that much time. I hope you understood this trick. If you like it, please let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not. Share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay? Thank you.